Hello, my name is Randall Fisher. Congratulations on purchasing your new GPS navigator. Sometimes you may just want to mark your favorite fishing spot, or perhaps your favorite diving spot, or maybe just retrace a route that you traveled before. Well, we're going to show you how to do that in this video, along with many other features and functions of your new electronics. We suggest that you get your owner's manual ready and follow along with us. Let's get right into what you're probably most interested in storing the exact location of any place in the world and returning to it at any time from anywhere else in the world or what we call the Bennett GPS solution. For example, let's store this location. To place a waypoint at your vessel's position, press the waypoints key twice. Now, let's turn the receiver off by pressing the power key. Now, let's travel some distance away while the receiver is turned off, say at least 300 yards. Now, let's turn the receiver back on again. Notice that it only takes a few seconds to acquire our position, and we're ready to return to our starting location. To return back to the same place you placed the waypoint, Move the cursor over the waypoint until the letters WPT appear. This waypoint data box and new soft keys are displayed. Press the Go To Waypoint soft key. Navigation to the waypoint begins. The track function marks an on-screen trail that your vessel has followed. When the track is switched on, it's recorded in the display unit's memory. To do this, press Tracks and then Start Tracks. When you finish recording a track, press Tracks and then Stop Tracks. You can convert a track into a route. To use the current track, press Tracks and then Create Route from Track. You can customize your receiver to best meet your personal preferences. For example, you can select to view units of measure in one of several formats. The Chart Setup option allows you to set up the chart plotter to best meet your personal preferences. The Chart Application Specific Setup option enables you to specify how the chart features are displayed. You can turn chart text on, off, or customize it. You can select the chart text size and customize many other setup parameters under this menu. The distance from your present position to the destination waypoint is called range. Bearing is the angular direction from north from your present position to the destination waypoint. The bearing can be a true or magnetic bearing depending upon the setup of your navigator. A sequence of waypoints joined together that leads to a final destination is called a multi-leg route. Here's how you form and follow the route. Often, a straight line approach is not the best course to take, and sometimes not even a feasible possibility. For example, a boater at this location may desire to go to a farewell buoy at this inlet. As you can see, a direct course line would take the boater across an island. The obvious solution is to form a simple route consisting of two legs. When the boater arrives to the first waypoint in the route, the GPS unit will automatically show navigation information to the next waypoint in the route, in this case the final destination.